ladles and jelly spoons welcome back to Badger Works. Today, coasters. Uh, this is a coaster that I made, uh, I 3D printed it uh, from a design on Thingiverse, I'll put a link down below. Um, the thing is with it is the back is plain, it's a bit slidey. So what I want to do is I want to uh, put a backing on it to make it um, a bit safer, you know, and look a bit nicer. So what I'm going to do, very simple little job this hopefully, is I've got here a piece of felt. Um, this is an offcut from uh, the lining that I made for my daughter's Miss Chief armour, which some of you may be familiar with. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it onto the back of here. It's, it's just about the right size. And, um, and then cut it to shape and we'll see how it looks. So the first thing I need to do is spray some adhesive on it. Now I've got this uh, spray adhesive. Um, I think this came from eBay, I'm not sure. Uh, but basically you spray it on, uh, it's almost like a one-sided contact adhesive. You spray it on one side, you leave it for a few seconds, let it, let it kind of set slightly and then you stick it together. Um, yeah, spray with a light uniform coat. Make bond while adhesive is aggressively tacky. <laughs> There's nothing worse than being aggressively tacky. Anyway, um, yeah. So I think I need to put something under this because I don't really want to get glue all over my board. Let me get a bit of paper. Let's see how this works. Whoa. That's nasty stuff. Right, okay. The trouble is with this, when you spray, it comes out as a stream rather than a spray, so you have to kind of make sure you cover the whole thing. And hope that we don't end up gluing. Ah. Right, let's put this over here. Okay, so. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Let's put that there like that. Right. See so what I want to do is make sure that this doesn't stick to the paper. <laughs> Uh, now it says, I think we need to put some weight on it. Press the two surfaces together, blah, blah, blah. I think what I'll do is I'll put something on it just to hold it down. Um, so we'll leave that for a little while and let it dry. And uh, we'll come back and, and uh, carry on. Back in a bit. Right, I think this glue seems to be more or less dry. It's been about um, about 20 minutes. Um, now the one thing I'm slightly worried about is if this has stuck itself down to the paper, but and yeah, it's it's a little bit tacky there, but that's not. I don't know that's a problem. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just cut away the excess. Uh, let's get rid of this and get the cutting board. She's very dusty for some reason, never mind. Um, right, and uh, the uh, the old, exact, now if you're using one of these knives, uh, they're very popular with modelers. Uh, obviously, I mean, this is literally a scalpel, so be careful, don't cut your fingers. Um, right, let's cut this out. When you're cutting this, what you want to do is try and kind of angle the blade slightly under uh, the piece so that you're getting almost like a bevel cut, so you don't end up with like fluffy bits on the edges. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, there we have it. So this obviously now is a lot better. It's a lot. It's less likely to slip around. It's, it won't mark any surface that it's put on. Uh, I'll just clean up a few of these little tufty bits, but that's easy enough. Um, but yeah. So on the whole, I think that's uh, that looks a lot better than it did before with just a plain plastic back. So uh, yeah, I hope this has been of some interest to you. It's something obviously you can do with any you know coast or anything like that. Um, so thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.